Hey guys, so uh, there's something that came up, and I think it's a common question whenever I go and speak to anyone um, uh, about websites and what they could do. Mainly what they ask me is not specific to this like headline, which I'm probably going to have to either sub uh, create a subheading or something. But the question is always like, um, how can I be the first on Google's result page right um that's difficult it's very difficult um not because you're not doing a great job uh not because your website is not correct well there's some stuff there that might also take effect on that but there are many many reasons you may not uh be able to rank high on google's uh search and uh, organic searches are obviously very important and probably uh i think they're about about mostly mostly like 70 or 85 percent of um how you'll get your traffic which is good uh you know if you take uh if you plan to do other things obviously then that would help you too but um but for the most part um what uh, seo does or search engine optimization um it helps you kind of direct that and there's many many companies out there that can work with you um but no one no one can promise that they'll put you on the first page on google uh search result or ranked uh, number one for that that's it's just impossible and i've talked to many of these companies that call me and they're like hey you know do this and i'm like so okay so how are you going to do that and what they express or what they try to sell you on is not true it's impossible it's impossible in many ways to do what they're saying you they can do um and they're, they're i'm gonna say it out i'll say it out loud but they're liars they are lying to you they're trying to get to business um there's there's a few things that you should uh consider uh questioning uh when those things happen uh the one thing is um how right that's the main question you want is how how can you do that if they say that we're gonna uh, we're gonna send you uh, Google this and that and send your information about you, yeah. If they go down the list and all those things seem uh, like things that they can do for you, then go ahead. I think that might be the right thing to do. Uh, but if if anything anything out of those things seem magical in any way or like doesn't seem like something that anybody can do, then it's a lie. Because all these things that they should be able to provide to you are are things you can do. And if you can't do them, then they're lying. Okay? The only thing they should be providing you is really the service to do all these things that um, <clears throat> you haven't done. Uh, these issues that you have on your website. Uh, for the most part, though... Uh, let's let's first talk about I think let's let's define SEO you know optimization um, in many ways uh, because that's the things you'll have to do and I'll try to show you a few examples on, on how you can do some of this stuff uh, but it's it's a growing uh, thing to try to keep up with Google's algorithm the algorithm constantly changes but the good thing is that Google also has released um, has released um, documentation on new changes and updates they've made uh, and those things will guide you towards what's important Um, so when someone calls me and they ask me for that stuff I tell them um, that's all based on information and things that you have to build you know content wise linking wise those things are things you have to take on Uh, those are those are um, a strategy you can take on I'm not an SEO expert uh, but we do. I do work with a lot of SEO uh, experts, and they, you know, <clears throat> you kind of eventually absorb the information that they have, and they go into reasoning for certain things. Um, so those are things you could take advantage of. <clears throat> so first, let me tell you what I can do, and then we'll go into the parts that you'll have to do for your site. Okay. As a web designer, web developer, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna look. I'm going to look down a bit a few times uh, because I have my my um, uh, my tips or my guidelines to speak what I'm going to talk about here. Um, and the things I can start off with is your website. 
that is the start of it all okay your your structure your website structure um and i'm going to uh kind of give you this nerd type of view here so as you can see on my screen right now this is your website well in this case my website it's it has a bunch of stuff a bunch of things going on um but is it telling in, in the code? Is it telling Google the story about your business? There are many structures, many headlines, ma um, many ways to structure a website and many hacks to do that. Um, what you need to know is that does your developer or designers or whoever's building the site, because sometimes designers are, uh, are full stack and they can develop and design anything and develop it. So they are they understanding the purpose of your site and they're telling the story in a, in a way that the, it funnels the information to Google correctly. Uh, what I mean by that is, um, for instance, an H1 heading, right, which is, for me is is, a, is not on the top uh, like most of the websites. And that's okay because Google will understand that, you know, that H1 has to be somewhere. So when it crawls the site, it's going to look for it. For me, my H1 is really right here because... I want to tell somebody, this is me. I want you to know who I am, what I do. And then um, they can decide to view some of this stuff. And, you know, I'm not trying to sell uh, myself. So that's why I put myself last. But the but Google will understand that that's, uh, that's very important to the site. And they will try to tell the story uh, based on that information. So... For me, it definitely starts off with the services, the things that I, I can, I have done, the things that I can do, uh, and things that I can provide you with as far as information. Because ultimately, this year I'm focused on my brand, and I'm trying to give you the information that can uh, help you not just uh, not just make money, but uh, help you kind of understand your business and how you can grow your business online. Um, so. Going going back to what I was saying, which oh, my mind is always out everywhere, um, the the uh, items that are important in what's called a structure tree uh, are told in certain ways. Are they using the right right tags? If you're if you have a description about your website on on your on here, is it wrapped around a, a P tag? You know, is it the first thing that Google's cr crawling engine sees? Um, those kind of things. Is it used also in the meta? description on top um and you can see my meta description on top too uh you can see it right uh where is it my description right here oh i just realized i gotta fix my title um so here you can see that and, and is it is it translated to the to the og information which is uh social networks and how they share that um so those are the things you want to you want to consider. The structure of the site is it built to tell the correct story. On another note, um, something else that you have to also consider is is your website mobile friendly. I have a video kind of showing how you can do that there, but quick search should give you the same results, which is Google uh, mobile friendly test or something like that. Okay, so there you just should be able to put your website it tells you it was uh mobile friendly um and it can even give you some more hints on how to how to optimize your website so that's one thing you can um handle uh well your developer should be able to handle uh another piece that they should be able to handle is connecting your account to a um what's called a uh console a google search console and I just inserted my new website here. I, and I, I, I'm saying new because I changed the accounts. And, um, and so I have to go through the whole process over again. I already I have another another uh, one that has much more information. But this one's just started. You can see right there when I submitted the, uh, the uh, website to them. So these are the things that come up, that have come up already. And it takes time to gather this information. But let's go through this. And um, they... The developer should be able to do this for you too. This again is more information analytics for uh, for you to know and for, to make a better decision for your content. Uh, so take a look at this. So these are the pages that are currently being uh, queried. Okay, so these are the top pages. 
how many views, uh, impressions, and you can you can even get more uh, detail about what you want to look into. Um, let me see the device. I never seen the device. Never play around with this as much as I should. But yeah, see, most of it comes from desktop right now, mobile or some. Uh, so those are things. Again, information you you you're going to need. Let me just close this out. But again, these are the pages, the top pages uh, on there. Oh, that's not it. Okay, and then we see the see top queries. So this is going to go into your strategy about the kind of keywords you want to use on your website. Also, what kind of information you want to display on some of your landing pages or pages in general. Uh, so let me click this. So for me, I, again, this is this is very limited right now because I have I don't I, I just put this up on the 11th. Um, I have another one that has a lot more information, but I don't want to go into the, that one. I think this is much more simplified. That one has a lot of information, which I'm using for the purposes of my SEO as well. Uh, so right now, right now, off the bat from the 11th, you can see there's been seven impressions on website design, web design, WordPress, all the stuff you can see right here. Okay. So these are kind of queries that I appear in, meaning somebody went to Google, they typed in this keyword website design, right? And I pop in. In, in some of those pages and then that person has clicked it seven impressions is what they've they've um, uh, they, they rate now that doesn't mean they have uh, clicked it now this is very very important okay because appearing if that's what you're looking for right now and that is what I'm looking for right now as I start this um, this is what I want to do I would do want to appear in website design I do want to appear in web design now these some of these keywords are competitive in, a, in some nature, right? So you want to make sure you start um, finding the right keywords and keyword with tails uh, that'll help you get to the point of the information you're trying to f uh, form and display on your website. Um, so there's a few things there that uh, exist. Um, this is great for me anyway, for the fact that I've erased all my content. It d definitely displays like the stuff, the right, I'm, I'm appearing in the right places so my website is working the way I want it to so far um, uh, there'll be some stuff that I'll keep in, including in tags that I, I every time I write a new page or new information on a certain page or if, if in your case or anybody's case if you want to go back and insert some more content about that particular service you're trying to provide your product you're trying to provide uh, or and and that includes those keywords then that's what you want to go into um, so there are some things that I think uh, can help. Here, my clicks. Now, no clicks. Uh, from where to when is this? Can you tell me that? Uh, last 28 days. Well, I guess that's not enough info. Uh, I don't have enough information to be gathered for some of this stuff, so I cannot display this. But this site, this this particular tool that Google uh, has, is a, is a place to start. Um, and I'm not gonna be able to display that information to you right now, which is fine because you should plug it into your website and you'll see more of that information for you. Um, and Google also kind of helps you with um, uh, sitemap. So uh, there are some stuff already that I think I already inserted. Well, I already, there's a way to, especially if you're using WordPress, which I recommend you use WordPress all the time. Um, you'll be able to create a, a uh, sitemap and that sitemap you can submit to Google and Google will understand your website based on that sitemap which is just a structure a quick structure of what your website is about and what it contains uh, Google's thing is not always te about technology they are trying to marry the technology that you use to the actual content you use so that it reveals the relevant something relevant to you um, and that comes with your content. So that's what you you would have to look at next. Uh, and I'm just going to go through these things. Uh, you know, if we got crawl errors, meaning sometimes what happens is your some of your pages are dead. Maybe you didn't know they were dead. They'll, they'll display here. Uh, let me see what else we got. The status of a crawling. That's just Google. Yep, redirected good. Uh, and here's my site map like I was talking about. I submitted it. So... Mine is in. Okay. And there's many ways. That, and here, Google has many ways to kind of help you do more. Uh, but at this point, I'm going to jump off technology and jump into the most important part that you are responsible for. And that's your content. Uh, based on the strategy that you have come up with, 
for your business, that kind of page that you're about to build, that kind of site you're about to build, uh, is based off all this. So I would say you kind of think about what your your um, clients are looking for, what type of information, how they are going to find you using what keywords, and then do some relevant searches on that stuff. Uh, Google also has some. Uh, let me just look at it. Google keywords planner. Let me see. Is that really what it's called? And this is through the AdWords. Mm -hmm, it is. Okay. Let's sign in. Uh, this is their AdWords service, which uh, is also a way to... Um, uh, put money towards uh, keywords uh, and I have not been here in a long time probably the next thing I have to uh, have to look into all I really want to do is kind of see the keywords and how do I do that keyword planner here's the tool <laughs> So we're now opening Keyword Planner. This is where you'll look for those keywords that you're trying to, oh cool, resume, that you're trying to find. So here's Web Design and Design in Yonkers. Um, this is something I was looking up. You can see the kind of uh, competition it goes. So for me, it's definitely going to be website, right? This is a broad, broad um, uh, tag and it's probably the one of the most competitive um, and right off the bat you can see that like this is this website builder right $21 for a bid um, so you can start seeing like whether you know you can compete in that in that realm because the people that are paying $21 for this uh, are bigger companies and you're not going to be able to beat them by just using regular uh, keywords but um, <clears throat> what I say to that is that there is a way you can kind of get there um, and that's by building your brand and your name and your company um, because Google doesn't always just do it on keywords and doesn't do it on content uh, even though it does take that into uh, um, consideration as well there's so many other things that they do because they want to make sure that the small companies also come up when that search result is, is uh, displayed because it's based on what what people are looking for it's not based on what um you know um amazon is paying as far as the the the, the keyword uh and you've probably seen some of these things uh if we look up we look up uh apple tv so you'll see them right here on the right on the on the top you see on the left side it says ad that's paid that's an ad word paid so you know Apple probably you know as you can see Apple owns most of that but but you can come up and be relevant in some of these areas too uh, based on that if you can get your brand to be considered and people are looking for you specifically dealing with Apple TVs so that's the best way to kind of explain this but you can use this as a tool for yourself to understand where do I uh, where do I fall so the other thing they use is keyword with tails so website um, my modifications so let's see what this so the bits it's a little bit lower uh, so that, which means you can you know see this one's actually really low the ones they consider I mean they're they are um, suggestion are in you know high web website design which is one of the keywords I have on my website uh, website modification so this is low this is what I would go for but are people using this term to look for you probably not or anybody but if that's the case if you wanted to push this to a some kind of a to Google or Facebook and say hey we have new website modifications look Google us uh, using web modifications and blah, blah 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 and it's low right now which is great because that then there's no competition so you'll be one of the you know one of the first to come up um, so this is the way to kind of go through uh, Google's um, 
uh, information. They were the tools, how to use their tools anyway. So that's the bottom line. Your content has to match what you're trying to get the user to understand and uh, find you through. Uh, so that's the that's the topic uh, for today. Um, let me see what else I have. So the more the more your content is relevant, uh, the more um, Google will go there, uh, will understand you. Uh, another important fact to this is also linkage. Uh, websites that are linking to you, are they important? Are they also great? Uh, and at one point, there was a way to hack that so you can kind of get all these links and then going back. But now Google tries to see if your information is relevant to theirs and are their websites um, approved by Google and so you can't spam yourself and trick Google into giving you a higher rank but I would say that you should consider uh, these kind of things because that's the way to make the right decision for the business to uh, plan a strategy to get more viewers um, a way to do that is by building your brand building your content more ways of them finding you and uh, and so on okay so that's that's the I think that's the bottom line. Your content has to just be as good as the technology that it's on. Um, and that's the, that's the bottom line. Um, I think I'm going to end it with that. I, th I said a lot. And there's plenty more information about SEO that you can look up. Um, there's plenty more things that I've left out. I just wanted to give you a good understanding of what a developer can do for you uh, and can bring to the table. I want to make sure you're not getting tricked by these calls, these emails that get you know you get fished with, saying that they can bring you to the first place in Google. Don't believe the hype. They cannot do that. They, unless they give you a good reason how they can do that and the strategy behind that and the the details about how easy how easy they can do it. That's that's the way to understand more of your business. But now with the information I've, I've given you, you can see if any of those things are actually happening. Uh, if they if they say, you know, uh, we'll look at some keywords in your site and we'll try to promote that info, maybe uh, revamp your content, that makes sense. That's exactly what Google is looking for. If they're trying to trick Google, I'm going to tell you something. You can only trick Google for so long, and for so long means probably a couple of days, maybe a week. So if you do rank up high and then your information is not relevant and Google catches you, they will they will penalize you they will drop you lower and lower and lower and you may not get back up from there until you start make creating relevant information um, so be careful uh, because if the wrong person messes with your website you'll be dead wrong i never i can never promise someone that i can um get them ranking first page top top uh one or two um that's just something i cannot I cannot promise because I don't I don't work for Google and Google doesn't give up their information. It's very secret on how they do the algorithm. They may give you a couple of hints here and there. They might give you new information that comes up, updated information like the newest one I know is the fact that if your website is not mobile friendly, then you're going to go down the list. OK, if they have not ranked you as as, as a mobile friendly site. If they have not ranked you uh, as content that's relevant, uh, if they see a lot of things that are missing, your links are fake, you're going to go down the list. You know, so you got to be careful. Uh, but I can never promise someone that, and I would never promise them that. But I want to make sure they understand that the fact that this is a two-people thing. So um, I can hire somebody to do the content and try to fix that, and we can work with that person. Uh, but ultimately, like as, as a small business, uh, like I started, um, you want the information to come from you because you know you're passionate. You're if you're good at writing, you know, good. If you're good at telling somebody else, we we can work with that too. Uh, um, either way, um, there's a strategy behind that. And the more you build up your brand, the better. The more you have somebody looking for your name, maybe your name is much more unique, like Zoo Monkey, which is one of my um, efforts this year to try to get the brand name out. Zoo Monkey, somebody searching for that then that makes your linkage go up or your ranking go up because people are people are people are the ones that that rank rank you so the more people finding you through certain keywords uh then the better that your your ranking will go 
Um, so just trying to be clear with that. I uh, hope that's enough information for today. Hopefully it's understandable. Um, but if not, you know, shoot me an email. Give me a call. Uh, I can always try to help you with some of the information. Uh, we can talk about um, how your website is doing. Um, and see if, if it's worth anything at this point doing this. Uh, but for the most part, like I said, all these things you can do yourself. You can do a lot of it. You can figure out yourself how to do it. And with some of the tools I've given you, you can try to see how, how well you're doing and make the right decision for yourself. And whether you want to hire a company or a business that can do that for you. Because again, some of these things are services. They are services. They are not, no one's doing anything magical because no one works for Google. Okay? No one works for Google. No, none of these people calling you work for Google. Be careful also. There's a lot of people that say we work with Google. We all work with Google. <laughs> we all work with Google. I work with Google, you know, because I, I, I look at their tools and I use their tools. I don't work for Google. And I don't work for their algorithm team. And their developers that create these algorithms and how they create them. So don't be fooled. All right. Anyway, signing out. Thank you so much for listening. Um, this is a this was a great time to educate you guys. Uh, fast forward as much as you can. If you get bored, move on to the next uh, next topic. Uh, look around my website. There are more information. I'm trying to uh, share as much information as I can now. I've been in this industry for a long time. And the information I'm giving to you, I've learned over time, and I constantly have to use it. So I know for sure this is common, and, and that's how we make our websites rank high, too. This is how we make our information uh, stand out from the rest. Uh, and all this stuff is a strategy. Um, you can build a campaign around whatever you want to do, your, your keywords. You can build campaigns and try to get it out there. Social marketing, you can do that, too. There's many ways that you can go, but th the information should be displayed and given to you by your the developer and that because that's his job to to put this technology together and gather it and then deliver it to you and make you make you make the decision of what to do next whether you should be uh trying it yourself or you should be hiring somebody else is up to you but that information is for you to use moving forward in any way you see it or revamping your whole new thing it's up to you uh, thank you so much for watching enjoy